Uh, this video is to promote our new holster website. Before I get started, I gotta thank a few people real quick because I learned a lot from these guys. Uh, I want to thank uh, one of my good friend Roger from Roger's Custom Holsters. He's the one that got me started. He told me what tools to buy, and this was like four years ago, maybe longer. And uh, he got me uh, going. I didn't even know what I was doing. And I also want to thank uh, holster companies like Philster and all of you guys that make those holster videos, showing us your secrets and your talent to help us get better at what we do. Uh, I got to thank them, guys. What, what can I say? So I've been doing this a while now. I uh, just haven't went going, went going, just haven't going uh, public or shipping out from the internet and all that. There's a reason why. It's because there's a lot of things you got to do. You got to get a website. You got to get a, um, insurance. You got to uh, get an IRS number and all this bullshit. So all that's done. I'm thinking we're going to launch the website uh, before the end of October. That's that's my prediction. And I just want to show you a few things before we launch it and show you some of our work. So, first thing is, you know how I am with, with uh, quality. I don't buy cheap stuff. Um, I buy the best stuff, to my knowledge, that I know is the best. So, that's what I try to do. So, we buy, uh, you know... The thickest, you know, the thickest plastic that looks nice. Uh, we use 080 Kydex. It's a nice, strong Kydex. Actually, it's Bolteron. It's a different material. We use Bolteron. We don't use Kydex. Right now, we're just doing everything in black. Um, eventually, as the website grows and if things go well, we'll start getting different colors in, like Coyote Brown, Flat Dark Earth, uh, OD Green, stuff like that. Uh, we do have those colors, but I don't have it in mass quantities, so I do it for local people. I do different colors, but right now the website, uh, anything that ships out, it's going to be black for now. And like I said, we're just getting started. Uh, the website doesn't have a picture for every gun yet. It has a picture for probably 75% of the guns. Um, but, you know, if, like if you click on a gun and... Say you click on a, uh, say a gun like a Taurus or something, and you don't see a picture there, it's because we ain't got a picture of one yet. So we're going to, I have to upload pictures. It takes a long time to get the website together. So I just want to show you some few things we do. Right now, uh, locally, we pretty much tackle anything that anybody wants. For the website, like I said, we're starting off very basic because we don't want you waiting a long time for your holster. Now remember, these are made to order. I don't have thousands of them made, ready to ship out. They're made to order, so you've got to give me a few weeks to get you your holster. But I'm telling you, they're worth the wait. Uh, put a lot of time in the, in the detail and the making these fit as best as I can. Because I'm a fussy guy, I'm a gun carrier, and I know how I think it should fit. So it's, they're worth the wait. Um, as far as uh, prices go, I think we're in line with everybody else, maybe a touch cheaper. Uh, we are free shipping, um, so the in price, anything you see on the website is free shipping. Okay, uh, The holsters don't weigh that much, so it doesn't really cost that much to ship it. In the U.S., in the U.S.A., that is. Uh, international, I don't, I don't even know we're doing that yet. So the website will take, you know, typical MasterCard and all that stuff. You know, you won't. You, know, you don't have to send a money order to bullshit like before. It's going to be actually like legit. All right. So here we have a a very hot gun. This is for a customer locally. Uh, this is a six hour P365. You guys all know the P365. Uh, we make the holster as minimal as we can. Everything is polished to a high gloss just for comfort. So it doesn't uh, snag or get caught on your clothes or anything like that. We use 080 thickness Bolteron, which is a very strong, thick plastic. Very good retention. Um, this is a dummy gun, so don't let that retention fool you. That seems tight. It's not, because when the real gun goes in there, it's going to fit perfectly. This particular gun, this yellow 
blue gun, as I call it. This company, I don't, is a chip on the trigger guard, so it's, it's snagging on something. But we just use that to test it. So anyway, very good retention. We use really good belt clips, very thick plastic. These are the strongest, thickest ones I can find on the market. These are the good ones. There's cheap ones, and there's good ones. And everything's made in USA, 1.5 inches, you know, nice little carry gun. Uh, pretty cut and dry. We leave um, the mag release unexposed. Sometimes the holster will lean on the mag release and pop your mag out. Something I learned a, a while ago that, well, maybe I should leave that cut out, and I did, and ever since then, it's, it's been great. So, very good. Very comfortable. Of course, we do right hand, left hand, of course. So that's the P365. Just made this 1911 for a, uh, a local guy. And uh, I have his gun because he has a laser on it. And I just wanted to make sure it fit in there right. So this is, this is the things we can't do with uh, the internet. You know, we can't ask you for your gun. You might live in Texas or something. So if, you're, if your gun has a laser or anything, uh, you got either put it in an, uh, some kind of notation or email, um, but usually if it has a laser, um, it doesn't, if it's this kind of laser, it really didn't get into the way too much of this. So this is a really nice Springfield 1911. It's a 1911A1, full size 1911, inside the waistband, black Boltron, good retention, plenty of room for, everything's blocked out for the controls, nice straight, square sight channel, no waviness to it. These are the things we pay attention to, very minimal, as minimal as we can get it, so it's not poking you in the leg, everything is of course all polished all the way around. Now a lot of holsters I see, they're, stop, they're stopping that polish thing, they don't think it's necessary. I like to do it because it only takes it only takes an, an extra like five minutes literally just to polish the edges. So I just do it. It looks nice and uh, it makes customers happy, believe it or not. They just like to uh, see that a lot of time was put into the holster. That's what it is. So of course this gun was safety checked, it's empty so I don't have a heart attack. Here's an outside the waistband, so we're going to do both. We're going to do outside the waistband and inside the waistband. This is the FNX45 with the, you know, this one has the threaded barrel. If we have the mold for it, we'll do it. If we don't have the mold for it, can't do it. Right now, we don't have molds for everything. We don't. I will only buy certain molds because there's certain, there's a certain brand of mold that I, that I like the best. And they don't have every gun yet. So... I just have to wait till they make the mold for every gun, but they have them for most of them. Same thing. Uh, nice thick Boltron, very symmetrical. Uh, everything's polished all the way around. Okay, we use nice belt loops. These are 1.5 belt loops, heavy duty thick plastic belt loops, made in USA. Now these are, uh, this is for a cop. And he wanted specifics on it, so I had to do a few things, but he's local. So, these outside the waistband holsters, I wear these at work, well, where I used to work. They are on a curve, so the good thing about that is it holds smack up against your body, nice and tight. If you pull your shirt over it, you can almost conceal it if, you're, if you pull your shirt over it. Oh, pretty pretty well for an outside the waistband holster because the, the gun is so close to your body and it's very secure. Um, we don't do paddles. I don't like paddles because it makes the gun stick out. I mean, we just don't do them. I'm not doing them. Uh, most of the holsters are for civilians and they want to conceal it. They want it close to their body. They don't want to, you know, walking around banging in the corners and stuff like that with those paddle holsters. I used to have a paddle holster, and I hated that thing. I used to, I used to get hooked on everything. I don't know how people wear them things. But they're more for uh, police. They're duty holsters for, for police. But I do see a lot of paddle uh, civilian holsters. are just outside the waistband. I, I'd rather have this curved technique where it puts the gun right up against your body. And it holds it secure. Same thing, good retention. 
Okay, that's an FN, that's a full size. Here is one for a Glock 19. Of course, you know, uh, this is an extremely popular gun, and this gun is hot, so just to be honest with you. Uh, this is a Gen 2 Glock 19. This thing's like uh, 30 years old. But um, these particular molds will fit all generations. That's why I like these particular molds. So there's no fussing. You don't have a mold for Gen 1 and Gen 2. You have a mold, it, it molds it's everything. Um, there's no movement. Good retention. Look at that. This was built in like 89, something like that. So there's a um, Gen 2, a 30-year-old Glock, going into a mold that way will hold a Gen 5, and look how nice it fits. It's because of the mold maker. They know what they're doing. Same thing, nice straight side channel, very defined, defined as I can get it. And another thing we make sure is we make sure this clip is pressing very hard on the holster. So there's no, um, so there's no, uh, it holds onto your belt nice and tight. I do see some holsters where the clip has a space in there, and if it has a space in there and your belt's not thick enough, when you pull the gun out, the whole holster's going to come out. So we make it a point to have this pressing hard on there. I'm sure there's other companies that do it too. So what we'll do is we put a block of uh, aluminum there to put more pressure on that clip to make it nice and tight. We want everything tight and secure, okay? So right now, th this, is, this is pretty much what we're doing. It's pretty basic, but it's good quality. That's, that's the most important thing. Uh, we're going to get into other things. I mean, you know, with the, uh, the wings and the hooks and all that and the claw and all that. You know, we have all that, but like I said, I do that locally. Um, we'll start doing these soon too, the belt loop straps, uh, the webbed coated, rubber coated webbing. It's uh, really good stuff. But right now, this is where we're at. So that's it. I mean, I don't want to make this video too long. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, the website, as soon as it goes public, I guess I'll make a short video saying it's public. Click the link below if YouTube will let me do that because there's so many restrictions on YouTube now. I don't get it. But that's it. Thanks for watching. It's called Armor Guard Holsters. And... It'll be public, I'm going to say, within a few weeks. Talk to you guys soon.